So the pre adati is the final race of day one then, and we can all go off and enjoy a plat de jour. And it's a two mile one furlong handicap hurdle, 0 to 60, and the top one is Bobby Moore for Derek Hinton. Black Widow, Molly at Surfer, Frantic Eskimo, David Robertson, Bell Fortuna, Stu Gray, Mary Junior, Graham Clutterbuck, Alberino, Central, Darren Thompson, Orange Goes Red, Molly at Surfer, Candy Apple Gray, Martin Leader, Magic Free, and Quicksmith are both Daniel French, James Queenfisher, Derek Hinton, Herbert, James Follis, and J Bone, Stu Gray. So 13 then, and away they go. Candy Apple Gray got a bit of a lead there. Good. Two lengths in front of everybody else, and the race started. But Frantic Eskimo, as usual, has been driven into the lead. And this one, if you remember from the races a couple of weeks ago, goes off like a steam train. Some of the time, and has quickly gone five or six clear. It appear to be going quite so fast today, but it could be an optical illusion as they take the first of ten. And Frantic Eskimo is the leader from Bell Fortuna second, and Mary Junior, Herbert, Bobby Moore. All close up, Alberino Central is just the back marker at this stage, but it's Frantic Eskimo that is a good sixth clear off. Herbert second, Bobby Moore for Derek Hinton is third, and comes the two Stu Gray win winners. <laughs> I don't know they've won yet, do we? <laughs> two Stu Gray runners, J Bone and Bell Fortuna. I'm still trying to get over the fact that Stu's won a group one earlier in the day, and he won a group one on the flat last week as well. He reckons he's no good. I don't know. Anyway, Frantic Eskimo's in the lead. Herbert is second as they take the third. And Alberino Central is still the tail end Charlie at this point of the race. Frantic Eskimo has not gone as clear as he did the other week. And the lead is no more than two and a half lengths now. Then to Herbert second, J Bone third, Bell Fortuna four. And Quicksmith on the outside is fifth. Bobby Moore's got the inside rail. Then Candy Apple Gray, the one who stole a little bit of ground at the start. Seems to have done her any good. And Magic Free alongside that one. And the second of the Derek Hinton horses, James Queen Fisher, as they pass the screen in the winning post. And go out with one more circuit to go. And one more circuit's time. Day one of the final week of the season will be over. It's gone like a flash, hasn't it? All the time. And they skip over that one. And Frantic Eskimo is in front. From Herbert and J Bone. And Bell Fortuna and Bobby Moore. And Quicksmith. And the two greys are after that one. Candy Apple Gray and Magic Free. With James Queenfisher and Black Widow, and the back three are Mary Junior, Alberino Central, and Orange Goes Red is the new back marker. Then, so into the final seven furlongs, and Frantic Eskimo, quite so frantic this week in the lead from Bell Fortuna second, Herbert third, Candy Apple Greg getting a bit closer, Quicksmith being driven now into a challenging position, looks like that one wants to make a serious move towards the lead, Frantic Eskimo though continues to be the leader, from Bell Fortuna second, Quicksmith is next as they take the seventh and a good jump there by Quicksmith and Bell Fortuna and Frantic Eskimo is suddenly being swallowed up, also now the pink clad Bobby Moore around the outside and the grey candy apple grey also beginning to get into it then comes Herbert and Jay Bone but now they begin to swing left handed and suddenly Bobby Moore has come to take it up cuts across to the inside there may have cut up one or two of them but seems to have got away with it candy grey on it candy apple grey on the outside has come through to challenge it's Frantic Eskimo Frantic Eskimo on the inside candy apple grey on the outside then Bobby Moore Bell Fortuna then Quicksmith still trying to run on Jay Bone over the third last thing going candy apple grey's hit the front and candy apple grey's gone a couple of lengths clear from Frantic Eskimo in second and then comes Bobby Moore and Bell Fortuna over the second last they go. Candy Apple Grove, Frantic Eskimos now trying to come with a second run. Then Bell Fortuna and Quicksmith. Then Bobby Moore and Orange goes. Red's running on really was those Black Widow. But Candy Apple Grey has gone for home. Coming down towards the final flight then. Candy Apple Grey in the lead. By about three lengths to Frantic Eskimo and Bell Fortuna. Quicksmith is next. Down towards the final flight. Candy Apple Grey looking like she's only going to jump. It skips over. It gets away from it well. Candy Apple Grey five lengths clear of Frantic Eskimo and Quicksmith. Up towards the line. This looks like it's going to be an easy win for Candy Apple Gray and Candy Apple Gray takes it from Frantic Eskimo second Quicksmith third Magic Free fourth then Bobby Moore and the four will travel back to Jay Bone who was the last one to finish and Candy Apple Gray takes it for Martin Lee and Frantic Eskimo second for David Robertson Quicksmith was third for Daniel French who also took fourth with Magic Free Bobby Moore for Derek Hinton was fifth that's your day one let's go and have a nice plat de jour Stu can buy the champagne after he lands another group one and we'll all be back tomorrow